Hi, I'm Clay from the Cello.Online, and today we're going to talk about the Cole bow stroke. What is the Cole bow stroke? Well, it's a great bow stroke for helping to improve your bow technique, your bow grip, and improve your sound overall. How is it defined? What how do we describe the Cole bow stroke? Well, let me give you a couple of, of textbook definitions or one textbook definition. And that is, if you, if you look up Cole, it's described as a sharply pinched attack on the string. Okay. This is what sometimes is also defined or described as a bowed pizzicata. I think this is a great description. This is often the way I describe it to my students because you're, you're pinching down on the string, as in the first definition, this sharply pinched attack, but it does feel like you're plucking the string with the bow hair. You know, you first you start with this sensation of getting the weight into the string here and then, you know, ripping the bow off the string. And this is why it's often referred to as a bowed pizzicata. All right, because it feels like you're taking just a tiny little bit of hair and getting the sound out of the string. I've also heard it described and described it to students as a scooping motion, right? You're getting down into the string in this kind of rounded scooping sensation more so than in, say, in a martelet stroke and certainly more than in a regular good old detaché stroke, okay? You're really pinching down on the string, hence the definition, a sharply pinched attack on the string. So what you'll want to do is, you'll want to do the string wiggle, which is like this. And if you want to see a video all about just the string wiggle, I have that here on the channel. You can go see that. But here it is again. I'm taking the bow hair, and check out the bow hair. I'm moving, let's maybe get down here at the balance point. It's a little easier. I'm literally, moving the bow hair, sorry, moving the string, excuse me, with the bow hair without making any sound, okay? That's the string wiggle. And the string wiggle is important because this is the point right before I make sound. This is the point where I have lots of weight in my hand, in my arm, okay? And then I'm just releasing the weight, pinching down on the string and doing the collet bow stroke, okay? And you can really, you know, you can start to build up your technique by doing the string wiggle, okay? And then, all right, with an up bow or string wiggle, down bow, okay? Now, for the this Cole bow stroke to really help you and improve your sound, you have to be listening for something specific while you are doing this Cole bow stroke. You want to make sure that you don't hear any scrapes or scratches um, that when you know you do the string wiggle and then you move the bow <laughs> there's a little bit of scratch there you want to hear a solid sound okay wiggle tone okay on all the strings here wiggle or set wiggle okay if you hear something like this if you set and you wiggle and it goes all right and you hear kind of an overtone, well, that's not what we want, okay? Or if the bow goes sliding and my bow here needs changing. Um, you wanna hear sound, you wanna hear tone. Okay, boom, this kind of pop of a sound. Okay, off the string. Wiggle, play, okay? A slightly more advanced exercise that can really help your uh, bow stroke and sound and playing overall is, the, is to use the Cole uh, bow stroke like this. We're gonna set, wiggle, and play at either end of the bow alterna alternatively, okay? So watch. Wiggle, play. Wiggle, play. Set, wiggle, play. Oh, it's harder at the tip. <laughs> really gotta get in there. Ah, that was better. Set, wiggle. Maybe you do this on a scale. You're gonna hear this pop, like you're plucking the string with the bow hair.
okay? Uh, just like that, back and forth at the extreme ends of the bow. This is really great for your bow technique, all right? And uh, maybe you just try to get faster with it. Really pluck, pluck. Um, set, wiggle, play. And that's the Colet bow stroke. Uh, it can really help you. Let me know in the comments uh, after you've tried it, if it helps you or if you're having trouble with it, ask questions down there. And if you haven't yet subscribed, consider subscribing uh, to the channel. Hit that like button and uh, we appreciate it and see you next time.